In this video, I'm going to review these Decker Underwater Kids cameras. Now these little cameras are inexpensive and I'll put a product link below. And you can use them to take stills or movies and the movies are up to HD quality. They have a built-in lithium ion battery and they have a simple to use menu function on the back which you can change uh, by running the buttons back and forth and you can select which mode you would like to use at the time. And they're simple enough that kids can use these in, in just a few minutes they can learn how to do it. So the waterproof case is removable just like that and then they have buttons that are waterproof and run through and they touch every one of these buttons just as if you were holding this in your hand. They come pre-installed with a 32 gig micro SD card and then here is your USB port right here to charge the built-in lithium ion battery. Now to the strap that comes just goes into these little holes right here and then they have a nice carrying strap and as you can see you can have different colors. Now what's included are these extra parts right here. And so I'll show you how these things work. So this here is a base plate. It's got a little sticky thing. And then you can slide this piece in right here. And then you can attach this to like a kid's helmet. And then the two little straps go on that are included can strap it down. And then from here, you can put in this little swivel right here. And then attach it with this. And then you can pivot up and down, and then this screws into the bottom. And now they can do like a, you know, a GoPro type of camera, whatnot, and they can, you can tighten these down, and then they can do it on their helmet. Now also included is this adapter right here, and it works in a similar way, except for as you can see, we've got two uh, things that clamp down here and this is a tend to go over the handlebars and you can either put it like this or it might work on the the neck there at the front and then you can attach the camera on on their bikes as they're riding around so I haven't tried those yet but that's what they're for the kit comes with this micro USD adapter so you can simply pop the uh, S micro SD card in there and then you can plug this into your computer and get the data off. So these things are really handy. I've used these before and they allow you to very quickly insert it into any computer whether you have a micro SD card on your computer or not. So that's really handy. These are generally about I would say about six or eight bucks and it's nice that they have an extra one included with the kit. Now, to insert the micro SD card, there's only one way that it'll go, and the way that it goes is that you have the contacts facing the back, like this. So if you turn it on to the front, the front of the SD card works with the front of the camera. I guess you could uh, think of it like that. And slide that down and then give it a little click until you hear that click. All right, now you can do a countdown timer, and this is how you do it. You set it into camera mode like this, and then you hit this button right here, and then the timer button will show. And it should default for five seconds. Okay, so let's cancel that. And then you can go over to the gear icon, and you can go down to the capture timer, and then you can change this to two, five, or ten seconds. So if we just say ten seconds and select it, then we back out, go back into the picture, and then you can turn, toggle this on or off. You can see the little button right there. So if it's on, that should be 10 seconds. Okay, and then it'll take a photo when it counts down. And so that's a, a basic timer function that you can use if you want to. Okay. Now, in this icon right here are the games, and it comes with three games. You can do Snake, Pushbox, or Tetris. And I have watched kids play with this, and they really do like them. So that's something to kind of keep them entertained. So you can change the video quality here in the gear icon. And here in the resolution. 
So you have 1080p, 720p, or VGA. And I actually am getting better results at 720 than I am at 1080. And I don't know why, but 720 seems to be working for me fairly well. You can also change the size of the images. Here I have it on 16 megabytes. And I have tried it on like 48 and 20, and I'm having some problems with those, but anything below 16 is working just fine. Uh, if we select the camera, we go into the camera mode, and you press the down arrow button. Here you can add these different frames and whatnot, and kids just love to do these kinds of things. You've got all these different things you can put on there. And then, and then when you take a picture, well, then it adds that to the picture. All right. And there are all kinds of them in here. They, if you can put a little, like, uh, here we go. You can put a hat on somebody and some lips, all kinds of things. So the kids think this is just hilarious. Now, what I think is so cool about this little camera is that it is waterproof. And I tested it, and it works just fine. You can run the buttons underwater. You can do everything that you can do out of water, underwater. And I think the picture quality underwater is actually a little bit better than it was above water. So anyway, this is a great addition for the pool. And the kids just have a blast with this. Let's do a basic audio and video test. As you can hear, the audio is not that good. But this is, after all, just a kid's camera. For the remainder of the video, I'll just do voiceover from my mic. Now, one thing I noticed that with this camera, you need to get a little bit closer to your subject. And the reason is that if you pull away from your subject, the camera has a little bit of difficulty with contrast. So here I'm really close to this, and I'm getting some decent results. Now, I'd also like to do a slow motion test, and this is built into the camera. And so I'm just going to turn the water on here and see how it goes in slow motion. And also note that in slow motion, this camera does not record any audio, which is pretty standard among cameras. Now, notice how I first approached this flower. It's a little washed out. And then the contrast fixes itself as it fills the frame. So there's an example of that that I was talking about. With a little practice, you can get some pretty good images. And all everything that you see in this video was taken with this camera. Here are some orchids. It turned out pretty well. So in summary, this camera for $38 that I spent for it, it really is a bargain, especially when you consider all of the accessories that came with it. So the micro SD card and the, the waterproof case and the camera itself and built-in lithium ion battery. Um, I think it's just a great learning tool for kids and it's worth the price. But again, you know, don't expect to make any killer movies with this because it's really not intended for that. It's just intended for kids.